Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Slide six. The Thanksgiving turkey in this composition can be termed the... Oh, the center or the focus, perhaps? The, the turkey itself? Yes. I feel like I'm playing charades or something. The focus point. Oh. The focal point is the oh, choice. Oh, yeah, that's what I would say. Well, Okay, here's our choices. But the pattern. Also, go ahead. The Thanksgiving turkey in this composition can be termed the pattern? No. no. You don't like it? Motif? No. Mm, no? What's motif? It's a style, isn't it? Motif is a style? Isn't it? Okay. Isn't it vanishing point? Uh, it... Well, vanishing point is actually behind, right? Because he's it's out there, but it's just the guy's chest, if anything. Yeah, it's it's, oh, like it's here? similar, yeah. but really because I, the table doesn't go. If if focal point was a choice, because that's where everything, but, every yeah. all the heads go right to that, and that's oh, just it's center, it's just highest right. center. So, Motif would mean like an underlying idea. D is yeah. the focal point. Turkey's huge. That's one yeah. big turkey. In fact, could she actually hold it like that? Well, she That'd be a lot of weight. That's like women 27 pounds. Women were a lot pounds. stronger back yes, then. Yes, they were. Right. <laughs> How do you justify that? That what kind of a comment is that? We want to make women stronger again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so they could carry. That looks like a 35 pound 35 turkey. 35 pound turkeys to the table. And she's just like, oh, it's no big deal. Well, you can't see the guys other than he's propping. And hey, what's up. this guy doing here, looking at the oh, deal? Ted like, Cruz. Pretend like he does look <laughs> like Ted Cruz, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they're all happy. These two are like talking to I each other. I believe that ah! the, I'm, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like it's improperly cropped. I feel like there should be more. Why is he looking up? A Norman Rockwell almost I, I, always, always thinks there's one thing. I get you on that one, but I think what it is is because your your eyes are like they're, they're only half people, so your eyes are drawing right to that turkey again. Oh, you know, that so is see, true. And, and it's curious. Oh. Their reactions are curious. Like, oh, here's a little happy little girl, and yeah, but you still go, you know what? They're all excited about the turkey. You can so. use the mouse to point, by the way, so that. Oh, okay. So anyway, I, I'm I'm saying focal point. Fo with this oh, guy. all right. Let's He's go. go the context. Context. Let's read again. Refer to slicing. The Thanksgiving turkey in this composition can be termed the pattern, motif, vanishing point, focal point, context. Because how do you know that it's Thanksgiving? Is it how many people sit down and have this? Look at the generations of people. And then, of course, the classic stuff here, uh, turkey. The turkey. I mean, we're assuming that it could be a big context. chicken, I suppose. The, well, the context is like what? Clearly, what? Look at this. She's been cooking all day. Nobody dresses like that just to have a, you know. Right. A turkey. I believe the context would be something else because it, that wouldn't be as specific. Final choice, focal point. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but Six. Why, why is a turkey an exciting subject in a picture? So that's why I'm, I'm going to go with E, context. <clears throat> you like that? Good luck. It's within the context of, of the event that's going on. We're and, all rooting for you. And, and, uh, <laughs> it's American Thanksgiving right there. Yeah. Okay, well, I think it's... I mean, could this be any other country uh, in our world? If you, When Romania? we look at this, are you seeing anything? No. Yugoslavia? No. Let's ask another. Joel, come on in here, Mr. Yeah, Quinn. Wait, he's a smart guy. Can you have some food? Uh, I mean... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Carrot? You can have the carrot. Can I have a carrot? I wouldn't recommend this. How come? There a while. This raw oh. dressing. How long have these carrots been there? Uh, same amount of time. You How can long? find the expiration date. Oh my! Goodness. Here, give me one. I'll, I'll be the beef eater. They, I mean, they were practically. So, Joel, we're it. looking up uh, at oh, art good. practice test, art image for question six. Here's the question. Okay. You recognize this painting? Uh, Who did that painting? What artist? No idea. Uh, That's Edward, amazing. Edward Hopper. <laughs> really, you do not recognize. I would have known that. I knew it right away because yeah. we're older. We're older. We're older. Norman Rockwell. Did you know that? Okay, he's young. He's, old, he's still he's older. Young. How old are you? Like twenty-one. Nineteen, I think. Uh, seven, actually. <laughs> Thank you for these cards. Okay, so Very good. Very good. Perfect. Refer to slide six. The Thanksgiving turkey in this composition can be termed the a pattern, b motif. C, vanishing point. D, focal point. E, context. They think focal point. I'm going for context. Uh, what What's your the, best guess? What was B again? Motif. I, I think focal point. Okay. What draws the eye, right? I'm going to context. All right, here we go. Both could be right. Six. Thanksgiving is a context. Six. I, I'm trying not to look at the next ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to see. I don't want to. 
you need a ruler that you can't see. This D, it's focal point. God, you guys are good. All right. Next. Uh, Dave, they, uh, Celeste asked me to put something like this in your classroom. Just, uh, if it's due. So now, does this start a new file? Or does nope. It continue just continues on. Yep. Art practice to art image for question seven. Call of Duty. Do you know what it is? It is a Call of Duty game developer map. Uh, it's a paintball field where they go play yeah, something like that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. There's a bunch of mausoleums. It's a memorial. Yeah, I was going to go there. Now. Oh, there's the... No, nothing funny here. There's all cement structures? I believe it is the... Memorial to the Murdered Jews of Europe. Uh, Peter Eisenman, 2005, Berlin, Germany. Uh, that's where, at the, like end of, at the end of the movie Schindler's List, perhaps it's that. You know, did you remember when they put a rock on Oh, each rock? yep. So, let's see the question. Seven. The power of Peter Eisenman's field of stale. Stale, is that right? S-T-E-L-A-E. This is where we need Steiner. Stale. I don't know. Field of stale is derived from what formal qualities? The power of this image is derived from what? Repetition. Formal qualities? Line and shape. <clears throat> color and balance, concrete and landscape, asymmetry and composition, scale and repetition. That's it. Scale and repetition because it's huge. I'll say repetition, 100%. i got to go with him. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to argue with The that. fact that he used one of the words that's one of the choices. <coughs> and that's how I got and my it came to him. Yep. Yep. Scale and repetition. Scale and repetition. Seven. E. That's it. Scale and repetition. Every time. Wow. Between the two, you guys, it's gold. Yeah. All right. It was all movie. right. It's just all in uh, movers. Art, number eight. Oh. oh number eight. Here we go. White you crucifixion. Mark Chagall, yeah. 1938. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there. Oil on canvas. Question number eight. Mark Chagall emphasized the crucified Christ as a Jewish martyr through all of the following details except... Now, let's find something that's not Jewish martyrish. Uh, perhaps there's these soldiers up here with a red flag. So, something to do with communism, because that has nothing oh, to do with yeah. Jewish martyrdom. What's this over here? European. That's Europe stuff. Yeah, there, isn't but it? isn't that a German flag represented here? The kind gold, like black, it. red... Maybe the old GDR or something like that. Mm. But which... I don't know. So I, if I had to say anything, I'll say the soldiers in black with the mm-hmm. red. Let's see. Can you read the question again? Yes. <coughs> Mark emphasized the crucified Christ as a Jewish martyr through all of the following details except. Here we go. The prayer shawl seen as a loincloth. That's true. Yeah. Mourners who appear in orthodox garb. Mm. The diagonal ray of light at the painting center. Mm-hmm. Oh. No. Use of letters in the inscription over Jesus' head. I don't see those ones. The crown of Tom thorns. <laughs> Tom. The crown of thorns is placed by a head cloth. Oh, replaced. The crown of thorns is replaced by a head cloth. Mm-hmm. And? No guesses? Uh, oh, that's all of them? Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, replay. The prayer shawl. Repeat, the prayer shawl. No. Mourners. No. The no. diagonal no. ray of light. Oh. Letters <coughs> over his... I know. It's, it's a di- yeah, it? but it's the only thing that's he not did, Jewish. He, they didn't think he rose and went to heaven, right? But it's also the only thing not Jewish. All the other answers oh. have something Jewish So it's the ray of light. The ray of light has no distinct Jewish quality to it. I think it had nothing to do with their belief in uh, All the other things. The loincloth, the, moin, the mourners, the... Well, well, the crown of thorns, though, replaced by a, a head cloth. I, is that a Jewish thing, wearing a head cloth? Why I, so why is, the, why is the ray of light the exception? Be, well, because it's the only thing that's not Jewish. I don't think the Jews believe that Christ uh, Ascended, was resurrected. Yeah, right. Reread the question, sir. Mark Chagall emphasized the crucified Christ as a Jewish martyr through all of the following details except. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a, a martyr or someone mm-hmm. who dies, not, not as resurrected. Not a Jewish symbol. 
Okay. Eight. The ray of light. You're not liking that ray of light. Right, I'm fine. What number is this? I'm going eight. Yeah. eight. You're right. All, <laughs> All right. right. Yeah, golly. All right. Oh, man, that's Process good. Process of elimination. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Art practice test. Anybody recognize this? Let's see. It is. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, Hello. Some... Isn't that hammer and sickle up it there? It is. That's definitely some communist action there. Oh, what's that? That it is color. The... That What's this right here? Red. That's red. red. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, no, no. it's fine. There's blue over here, so we're talking about Yeah, right. So, so this right. must be the purple statue of... Is that... That's not Vladimir Putin there, is it? No. No, no, because he's, he's not shirtless. And on the right is the Statue of Liberty. You know, she moon moon. Is that, is that yeah, Statue yeah. of Liberty there? This there is Worker and... How do you say that? So, and Kolko's woman. Worker. Kolko's. Workers and a woman. <laughs> Stainless steel. Wow. Vera Mukaina. Yeah. All right. So let's find out what this deal is. It's definitely. Uh, what year is that produced? It, it's definitely not. Okay. Does, does 1937, I think. 37. 1937. 1937. Yep. Okay. Stainless steel. Here we go. Number nine. Drama is achieved in this work in part through which of the following? Drama. Yes. Yeah. Before we give the, you the, the choice, the wind of, of the, the, mo the movement on the clothing. Right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, uh, the, the feeling of triumphantness or whatever it is. Uh, the joining holding. of two hands right, together, together. The holding up of the symbols. Um, Here we go. It's realism. The symbolic hammer and sickle. Its placement high above the viewer. The look of idealized youth. The strong symmetry of the composition. Drama is achieved in this work in part through. Uh, Realism. I bet you it has something to do with the, this height above everything else. Because it looks big and it's looking oh, down upon you. Yeah. It's like, look at the height. size of that thing. Height. Yeah, read, it is. Read the the placement again? high above the viewer. That's what I think. It's like, that's it true. Impact, You're right? looking up. Yeah. But isn't there anything about, uh, yeah, there's nothing about the, the joining of the two characters or anything like that? Uh, it's, it's realism, the symbolic hammer and sickle, the placement high above, the viewer, the look of idealized youth, the strong symmetry of the composition. It's just huge, and it's up high. Symmetry doesn't bring drama, really. Not necessarily. I think the height. I'm going with the height. I'm putting it all on the placement it's, high it's above big, the viewer. Like, wow, Any other, anybody else? If Are anything, you with this? yeah, I would. I'm gonna go with that, but my, I have a close. I think the symmetry would create a close second because here we go. Of the two. All right, so here we go. Yeah. Number nine. Let's see, Semi the diagonal. No, no, it's the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> the diagonal gotcha. ray of light. It is. It's placement high above. See. Yeah. 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 Right. There we go. Okay, on to the I next one. I finally got one. Yeah. At least I agree. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were before that. You must have had. Uh, <clears throat> well, I don't know. Okay, last one. Oh, this is Art image for question 10. A swarm of sharks <laughs> by Shark Week. Remember, Discovery this Channel. is World War II. Discovery Channel. <clears throat> uh, okay. No, there, there wasn't a Discovery Channel there <laughs> at that time. All right. Are you sure? I don't think so. Let's well, check it. Shark Week? I don't believe basic cable even existed. Well, no, but it's with the leaves, the red one. It's on the same page as the red one. Oh. Hemlock. Hemlock. Oh, is that Joni some? Mitchell. John oh, Joan Mitchell. Mitchell. Oh, I thought it was. Hemlock. Hemlock. Is that 56? What, you know what, what Hemlock property? is? That was the name of that character in the Iger Sanction. Remember that? No. Nope. You ever that movie, Clint Eastwood, uh, the uh, Iger Sanction? Yeah. Hemlock. Huh. Is it some sort of poisonous uh, shrubbery? Hemlock. That was. <coughs> yeah, it's a tree. It has nothing well. to do with it. Oh, the Iger Sanction? No. It's in Germany, isn't it? The Iger? Or is that Switzerland? Probably Switzerland. All right. Nineteen what? Fifty-six. Okay. All right. This is towards the end of World War II. non-objective movement. Oh yeah, good. Pollock and all. All right, number ten. In this painting, Joan, not Joni, Joan Mitchell, creates a sense of depth through broad, overlapping brushwork, much like the technique seen in. 
Hans Hoffman's The Golden Wall, Herbert Ferber's Jackson Pollock, Mark Chagall's White Crucifixion, Omar Walk Rockwell's Freedom from Want, Gustav Corbet's The Stonebreakers. So I guess we have to look through all these. All the other ones are in here? Yeah, they're all in here. So here we go. What's the first choice? The Golden Wall. I've heard of none of these. No. You can also eliminate the Rockwell. I think so. The Golden Wall, page 15. It's got to be a Pollock piece. It's the only one that's even similar. No, that does not have perspective or no. depth. You know, yeah, I, you know, on second thought, right, the Golden Wall, the Golden Wall, heavy colors, by Hans Hoffman. Look at look big, at the brushwork on big, this thing. Wide, broad strokes of the brush. Did, do we have that as a, it wasn't a question on there, was heavy it? Heavy oil. No. No. It's not here. No. Um, that's definitely really similar in terms of style. That's on page 15. Right. So. Well, so it could be that yeah, one. It's similar abstracted art from that era. Yeah. I would I'd say they're comparable. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. Okay. Those guys going to come back uh, yeah, so we can finish up? They went to get some carrots. Okay. Jackson Pollock from Jackson This is, if I had to Pollock. guess, I'm going to go Jackson Pollock, just because it looks like a Jackson Pollock. That's mm -hmm. what I thought it was originally. It is. 18. All right, that's 15. There's your Jackson Pollock. Ah, same oh, thing, just a sculpture well, look, version. Look at those strokes here, though. It's the same really sharp. Yeah, especially That's like a painted version of that. That's what I see. You don't even want to go any further. Do you? I well, you I don't. Yeah, we, I do we not. Look, right when we looked at him, I said that white crucifixion. We just looked at that. That was uh, that right. one. No, 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 no. Okay, read the question again. In this yeah. painting, Joan Mitchell creates a sense of depth through broad, overlapping brushwork, much like the technique. Okay. Um, how about Norman Rockwell's Freedom? That was the turkey. Yeah, that's yeah. nothing to do. Those, those uh, brush strokes. Well, no. uh, the stone breakers. We haven't looked at the stone breakers, have we? No. Let's look at Stonebreakers. That's the one I think is with the Stonebreakers. Stonebreakers. Where is it? Stonebreakers. It could be. Where the heck is it? Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker. It's a red herring. A wild goose chase, if you will. Where the heck What's is it? the one on Where's page the Stonebreakers? I don't at, see any Stonebreakers. There's no Stonebreakers here, is there? Do you see Stonebreakers? I don't even see a Corbet. By who? Um, Maybe it's Corbet. just an obviously wrong answer. Maybe they're putting that in there to see because it was no. Uh, somebody would say, it wasn't even in there. That was in there. Well, it's in here, but it wasn't a question. But it could be a question, see? So it's not like they're going to put these exact questions on the academic test. This is <coughs> just a way for you to start practicing right. to look at art. So these are just practice to try to get used to this vocabulary and analysis. The answer is Jackson Pollock. I think the Golden Wall is the right choice. Jack Should be a B. All right, here we go. Here we go. <coughs> oh, no, it's A. Ten, right? The squares? The golden wall. Where was the golden wall? No, the one you saw is the big old red thing. Looks like a ten. Face Art practice test. Question no, ten. The answer is A. Then. Question the brush A. Brush strokes, what? I thought about the brush strokes. Yeah, maybe but the golden wall. <laughs> Overlapping brush strokes create a sense of depth. So you're saying, but, but this is a yeah, photo. The photo makes it difficult to see the depth of a brush stroke. It's you No, because how are you going to create It's the, the squares. That's one that you guys said was obviously no. I think well, Joel and I said, yeah, maybe that could be. I, I that maybe could anything. be right. Yeah, we have it on tape. We, we could review the tape. We can review the tape. You know, yeah, I, you know, on second thought, right, the Golden Wall, the Golden Wall, heavy colors, by Hans Hoffman. Look at big, look at the brushwork on big this thing. Wide, broad strokes of the brush. Did, did we have that as a, it wasn't a question on there? Was heavy it? Oil. No. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming in. Oh, okay. And I think uh, hopefully we hope that it was helpful. Right. You guys want to say anything to uh, Don't our decathletes? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pause.